Final Cut, Mark the Movie Man, and today we're going to review a short independent film that you can see right now on YouTube called Hag. It's brought to us by Rockin' Hag Productions, written by Trev Lewis, and it was directed by Trev Lewis and Tim Thorne, and it tells us the story of Ellis, a gentleman who is suffering from old hag syndrome. Basically, he gets sleep paralysis, as it's known in the uh, scientific community, basically nightmares where you get visions of an old hag, uh, and you get so scared, your, your body just tenses up and you can't move, and it real not a good syndrome. Uh, a number of people suffer from it. Anyway, that's the premise of this story, and we see how Ellis explores this syndrome and try to find answers to, you know, what's causing it, what he's seen, and if there's a cure. Okay, I'm not going to give too much away because it is short, all right? Now, for an independent, low-budget, no-budget film, this was very well put together, I thought. It's a tight little film. They work within their budget. The sound is great, which is always tricky with lower budget films, but the sound design in general is good. I, I like the sound effects. None of it seemed like they were working right off of a, you know, echoey cam or whatnot. Everything done, was done really well in the sound. And the music done by uh, Pete Carroll was fantastic, very atmospheric, and helped give the whole overall creepiness of the f feel of the film. The special effects, what there are in there, are done well, too, within the budget. Now, remember, this is low budget, so we aren't talking ILM, but they do fantastic with what they have, with lighting and uh, animation-type things and playing with shadows, and they do a great job there, okay? There's only a few parts where it was really a little too dark, uh, uh, but for the most part, you know, you can tell what's going on there as well. But the only thing that I didn't quite like about the film was the casting of the tramp, this old drunk that kind of hung out of, outside of the apartments of Alice and that. And the only reason I didn't like it is because they said he was supposed to be old, but the guy didn't quite look old, and he was trying to do this gruff voice, and... You know, for me, that kind of took just a little bit away. I kind of found it a little bit humorous. Now, I understand they're working in the budget, and you find who you can to cast it, and I completely understand it, but I'm just saying that out of all the elements that I thought maybe was the weakest was the casting of that. I figured maybe they could have written it so he didn't have to be an old guy and so gruff sounding and still be the drunk, or, or maybe find an old guy, get Grandpa or somebody cast it. But that, the, the performance of the Tramp was great. I just think the casting was just a little off for that. But, on the whole, Hag is definitely worth your time, folks. I definitely uh, think you should check it out. There's a link down below to the film in the body of this description. It's only 30 minutes. Give you some time to take a look, and I'll be interested to see what your take is on it. Please post comments below or message to me. Make sure you message them as well. Let them know what you like or didn't like, because independent reviewers, uh, independent filmmakers, love feedback. They want to know what's going on, so the next project they come out with is even better. But definitely, Hag should be checked out by you out there. And that'll about do it for us here at Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket still.